Welcome to Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater. Now, here's your host, Lisa Condit. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in today. So happy to be here with Brian O'Donovan. Love Brian O'Donovan. And every time he works with us and he presents a St. Patrick's Day Celtic Sojourn, a Christmas Celtic Sojourn, these have become family favorites, and we're excited. Wednesday, March 15th, you're going to bring the whole crew back again, Brian, aren't you? We certainly are. It's a, uh, it's a really, really exciting uh, trip for us every year that we make the Worcester and the Hanover Theatre. It's kind of like it's like old home week or something. There's a great feeling in that space, and we love seeing familiar faces and new faces are likely, so, but it has become a tradition, hasn't it, for, for Worcester? Absolutely, and there's no better way to get prepared for St. Patrick's Day than with you, Brian. Well, thanks for saying that. Thanks <laughs> for saying that. It's, uh, it's, it's really fun for us to, to just be able to assemble on stage in a, in, a, in a style that's really reminiscent of a gathering in the back of a pub or a kitchen in Ireland where we just get all these great, great musicians and just have them joining us for uh, what we know is going to be a good old hoolie, good old-fashioned hoolie. And you know what's amazing, too, is, you know, people who have been to Ireland, you really understand that even though you're in what seems like a very small, unassuming setting, the musicianship and the talent of the Irish performers that you'll see in Ireland and then hear on your program and see on stage with you are literally world-class. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Well, that's one of the most amazing things. I think you've hit the nail on the head there, is that what we have been successful in doing over the years is demonstrating how much of this music is around at the highest levels of its talent, but often not at the highest levels of uh, profile in the entertainment world. These are not uh, people that you will see at the uh, halftime of the Super Bowl any time. So, God <laughs> forbid that would be the case. But what the extraordinarily high level of talent that musicians and singers really is that are that art has been back in time and into its context as well. Interesting is what really, really uh, gives me a kick is when I meet people in the lobby of the Hanover Theatre after the show and they say, it's, you know, maybe they're there for the first time, and they say, wow, this is not what I expected. Uh, and that is because what they might expect is, is something like a ballad session or something that they might have watched with their parents growing up. This is the contemporary side of the tradition, with, of course, a lot of tipping of the hat to the tradition itself, but it has a great contemporary context 